Hello, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're learning about how to animate anything inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you have to animate anything, this should help you in DaVinci Resolve. Anything. Let's go. Here I have this nice little aerial shot, which we'll use to make things a little more interesting here. But here's the basic idea. Basically everything in Resolve can be animated using keyframes in the inspector. So if you select something, this could be something in the edit page, the cut page, the fusion page. If you select it and then you go up to the inspector, you can adjust all kinds of controls and each one of those will animate, right? Let's say we want to zoom this out. And for whatever reason, we want to do like an awesome 90s <laughs> intro where this just flies in. We can start by zooming way out like this, and then we want it to zoom into full screen, okay? This is a super easy way to animate something, and once you know this, you'll basically know how to animate most things. The first thing I do with a simple animation like this is go to where I want it to end. So let's say within six seconds, we want this video to be full screen like this. And since things are looking the way they should at the time we're at, what we're going to do is click this little diamond next to whatever we want to animate. So we're going to animate the zoom. So I'll just click on this diamond and it'll turn orange. That means that there's a keyframe at this specific time at six seconds. All a keyframe does is just say, hey, at this specific time, I want you to look like this. So now all we have to do is move to a different time, let's say at the beginning of this shot. And we can click and add another keyframe if we want to. We don't actually need to. We can just grab these controls and change them to something different. So I'll just push this back like this. Let's say we want it to start there. And now we have two keyframes, which means that we're going to have some kind of animation because we start at zero in our edit and it's supposed to be 0.12. And over at six seconds, we have our zoom at one. And look what happens in between. Resolve knows that it's supposed to animate in between those two keyframes. So when I play this back, it zooms it in automatically, just like that. That's really the basics of animating just about anything is setting the keyframe for the beginning, setting the keyframe for the end, and letting Resolve move it in between. And if you decide that you don't like any of this, you can just hit this circle reset button and that will reset your control to the default. You'll notice as you scroll down that like everything has one of these little diamonds. And so basically anything with a diamond, you can animate over time. Pretty cool. So if we want this to rotate over time, click on a keyframe, move down a little bit and rotate it again. And now this rotates over time. Circle arrow to reset. Okay, let's do something specific. Let's go over to our effects library under titles. Let's just grab basic text and drag it over our timeline here. And we'll just make sure that's over everything. Up here in our inspector, let's make this look decent. Sure. I'll just adjust some of these little controls. So there's our nice little National Geographic mountains. For years, people have looked at these mountains, trying to figure out how to climb them. Of course, using their feet would be helpful, right? But let's say we want this to kind of zoom in with our camera. So it's almost like we're flying towards those words. Well, you could do this a bunch of different ways. You could track it. You could do a 3D camera track. You do all this stuff. But when you have a really constant, very, very smooth shot like this, like often you'll get with a drone, you can fake this pretty well. So let's do that. These are all of our text settings, but if we just switch to settings here, these are our video settings, which work the same way as if we had a piece of video footage. And same thing, I'm just going to animate the zoom, but at the beginning, let's add a keyframe and we're gonna push this back a little bit, something like this. And all we really have to do is kind of pick a couple points on the landscape to make sure that we're kind of in between. So like the M is right above this little lit up bush thing here. And the S is over this first little hump here. So we're gonna move through our footage a little bit, maybe like 10 seconds or so. And then we're just gonna try and zoom this up. So I'm gonna zoom it so that it's about the same size that it was, and we'll see how that looks. Let's go back. So it's almost there. The speed of the zoom is probably okay, but we also need to mess with the position. That's the good thing is we can animate multiple things at once. So if I click on position right here, and maybe I'll bring it up just a touch. And I can also animate this along with our scale. 
And a quick way to go to the next keyframe is right here, there's these little arrows. You can click on this right arrow and this will go to the last keyframe of our zoom. So we have two points, the beginning and the end of our zoom. We're gonna match that with the beginning position and the end position. So again, we're just gonna kind of compare these. And I think what I'll do is bring the position down a little bit at the end. So now let's look at this. There we go. Now we're definitely getting the effect we're looking for. So now when we play this back, mountains, they're like hills, but more extreme. So now we have that effect and we didn't even have to track anything. Oh boy, look at that. So that's really some basic animation inside of the edit page. Now, there are times when you're gonna want to get a little bit more detailed with animation. Let's just reset everything here. Like, let's say we want this word to come in and just kind of go shoo, and zoom in really fast and then stop. Again, we can kind of start with the same idea. Let's just go like one second in, I'll click on zoom and we're gonna go at the very beginning and we're gonna zoom this up a lot, something like this, right? So now it just goes shoo. The problem is that this comes in and then it just stops immediately, which is a little bit jarring. It's not really the best way to do it. It just doesn't look as pleasing, you know? And so what would be ideal is if this would just slow down, if it would slow down at the end and just go and just nicely slow down. So when this comes to a stop right here at this keyframe at one second and eight frames, what we really want this to do is just slow down. Okay. And the fancy animation term for that is to ease. So when you ease a keyframe, instead of something coming in really fast and then stopping immediately, it comes in really fast and then slows down before it stops. That's called easing. So what we can do in the inspector, if we right click on this keyframe, we can select ease in. And what that'll do is try to slow this down a little bit before it stops. We'll hit spacebar and then it'll go, Ooh, look at that. See how much better that is? So if you can, make sure to ease things if they're coming to like a jarring stop. It's just much more pro. Let's do one final little tweak here. And that is to animate the opacity as this comes in. Like it's just kind of appearing from behind the camera and then swishing in instead of just starting with like great big words. You could animate this the exact same way. You could scroll down to composite right here where it says opacity. And you could click a keyframe here and bring this all the way down and then play a few frames in and bring it back up. There's nothing wrong with that. So now totally works. Same deal. You might want to try that just to practice animating, but honestly, for something like this, I would just not do that. And I grab this handle at the beginning of our clip here, and I just drag this in. This just makes a quick fade, which is the exact same thing. So now what this is going to do is just fade up as it goes in. And that's a nice little animation. Yeah. So yeah, that's the good news is if you can wrap your head around kind of how keyframes work and that you can animate anything over here in the inspector with this little diamond and adjusting these sliders over time, you can animate just a ton of stuff, just about anything you'd want. And of course, this is pretty basic animation. There's more advanced, amazing things that you can do in the Fusion page, but for most of the stuff you need to do, this should help a lot. So not too bad, right? As promised, you can use this technique with anything. If you haven't checked out the Resolve 17 Crash Course, it's right here. Make sure to check it out. It's Frizzny, yeah. Free. I'm in quite a mood today.